In 1968, the power of one man, Dr. Georg Huesler, changed the course of humanitarian services for millions of people in eastern Nigeria. This incident was the result of the actions of one extraordinary man who identified a need and handled the situation appropriately during an extraordinary crisis. In the late 1960s, the land of Biafra in Nigeria was embroiled in a war that threatened to wipe out an entire population. This conflict brought forth not just the worst of humanity, but also its best. At the forefront of this fight for survival was Dr. Georg Huesler. Have you ever heard about him? A beacon of hope in the midst of Biafran despair. As the former Secretary General and President of Caritas International, Dr. Huesler found himself in a position to make a difference. Caritas International, for those unfamiliar, is a confederation of Catholic relief, development and social service organizations operating in over 200 countries and territories worldwide. Dr. Husler, however, was not just a man of position, but a man of action. He understood that the title he held granted him not just authority, but a responsibility. A responsibility to aid those in desperate need, and in Biafra, need was everywhere. The Biafra War was no ordinary conflict. It was, in fact, the worst human catastrophe recorded after the Second World War. The scale of suffering was unimaginable, with millions of children, women and men facing starvation and death. But where others saw only despair, Dr. Husler saw a call to action. He responded to this call with a level of dedication and courage that was nothing short of heroic. Coordinating the Caritas International Relief Operation, he worked tirelessly to bring aid to the suffering people of Biafra. But it was more than just the delivery of food and medicine that set Dr. Hugh Esler apart. It was his unwavering belief in the value of every human life, his refusal to turn away from the suffering he witnessed, and his determination to bring hope where there was only despair. Dr. Hugh Esler, through his actions, wrote an unforgettable chapter in the annals of humanitarianism. His story is a testament to the power of one individual to change the world, and a reminder that even in our darkest hours, heroes can emerge. How did he help the suffering Biafrance? Dr. Georg Husler, the former Secretary General and President of Caritas International, set about mobilizing aid for the beleaguered people of Biafra. Unyielding in his commitment, he rallied the very essence of humanity to a cause that seemed all but lost. He called upon his fellow Germans, appealing to their sense of compassion and empathy. The response, especially from Germans, was overwhelming as the civilian population, moved by the plight of the Biafrans, donated massively to the relief action. But Dr. Husler's efforts went beyond the boundaries of his homeland. He reached out to various international relief agencies, harnessing their resources and manpower. Together they formed an alliance of aid, a testament to the indomitable spirit of human kindness. The relief materials they delivered were not just commodities, they were lifelines. Clothes to shield the vulnerable from the elements, cornmeal and rice to fill empty stomachs, milk powder for the infants who clung desperately to life, sugar to provide a fleeting taste of sweetness in a world grown bitter, and stockfish to nourish bodies weakened by hunger. The airlifts transported the most vulnerable children to the Ivory Coast, Sao Tome and Gabon, where they received crucial treatment and care. Regrettably, while some returned post-war, many did not. Medicine played a vital role in combating diseases, saving countless Biafran lives amid immense challenges and personal risk. These supplies were lifelines for starving Biafran women and children. Dr. Uesler's belief in humanity was unwavering, his resolve unbreakable. He understood that every single life was worth saving, that every single person mattered. He made it his mission to give hope where there was none, to bring light where there was only darkness. Dr. Huesler's relentless efforts meant that thousands of lives were saved from the brink of extinction. His deeds stand as a testament to the power of compassion and the enduring spirit of humanity. The essence of humanitarian aid is not just in the mobilization, but in the delivery. This was a truth that Dr. Huesler understood deeply. He, along with Caritas International, embarked on a perilous journey to deliver aid to the suffering Biafrans. When the world seemed to have turned its back on Biafra, Dr. Husler and his team stood in the gap. They risked their lives flying through dangerous air corridors to deliver much-needed relief materials. With each flight, they carried hope in the form of clothes, cornmeal, milk powder, sugar, rice, stockfish and medicine. These actions were not without risk. Every flight, every delivery, every airlift was a gamble with fate. 
Yet Dr. Huesler did not let fear deter him. His dedication to the cause was unwavering. His actions were a testament to his belief in the sanctity of every life, the dignity of every person, and the indomitable spirit of humanity. In the midst of a war that threatened to extinguish the light of hope, Dr. Huesler became a beacon. His courage, solidarity, and charity shone brightly, illuminating the path ahead. He chose to stand with the Biafrans to share in their suffering and to bring them hope. Dr. Huesler's work in Biafra was not just about delivering aid, it was about delivering hope. It was about affirming the value of every life, about standing up for the voiceless and about demonstrating the power of humanity in the face of adversity. In the face of adversity, Dr. Huesler proved that the human spirit can triumph. He showed the world that when we choose to act with compassion, we can make a difference, we can save lives, we can deliver hope. The true measure of a hero is not in their lifetime, but in the legacy they leave behind. In the heart of southern Nigeria, Dr. Georg Huesler's legacy continues to reverberate. His actions during the Nigeria-Biafra war saved many Biafran souls amidst a storm of despair. His efforts did not merely end with the provision of immediate relief to the starving and suffering. His work marked a turning point in the history of humanitarian aid, setting a precedent for the scope and scale of intervention that relief organizations could undertake. Caritas International, under his leadership, demonstrated how a non-government organization could rally the world to respond to a crisis of epic proportions. Dr. Huesler's impact is also evident in the lives of the countless individuals he saved. Thousands of Biafran children, women and men owe their survival to the relief efforts he orchestrated. These individuals were given a second chance at life, an opportunity to contribute to their communities and their nation. Their thriving existence today is a testament to the lasting impact of Dr. Huesler's work. Moreover, Dr. Huesler's legacy has transcended borders and time. His humanitarian spirit has inspired countless others to dedicate themselves to the cause of alleviating suffering wherever it may exist. His life and work have been a powerful reminder of the potential of individual action to bring about significant change in the world. Dr. Huesler's legacy is not just in the lives he saved, but also in the hope he instilled. In the darkest hours of the Nigeria-Biafra war, he showed that humanity could shine through. His actions gave life and hope to innocent people, a beacon of light amidst the darkness, a symbol of the power of compassion and solidarity in the face of overwhelming adversity. The memory of his courage, solidarity and charity continues to inspire us. His legacy is a testament to the power of hope, the strength of compassion and the indomitable spirit of humanity. His story reminds us that even in the face of insurmountable challenges, individuals can make a difference and that, indeed, is the true measure of a hero. Dr. Huesler's passing was deeply felt by those he had helped. The once starving children, now grown and living in many parts of the world, will always remember the man who had given them a second chance at life. The mothers who had watched their children waste away wept for the man who had brought them hope. The men who had witnessed their families suffer pay tribute to the man who had stood by them in their greatest time of need. His life was a testament to the profound impact one person can have on humanity. He showed the world that compassion isn't just about feeling sorry for someone's plight, it's about taking action, about doing what's right, even when it's hard. Heroes may die, but their stories live on. This saying rings true in the life of Monsignor Dr. Georg Huesler, a man who poured his heart and soul into helping those affected by the Biafra War. On a quiet Sunday, April 14, 2013, Dr. Huesler died at the age of 91 in Freiburg, Breisgau, Germany, leaving behind a legacy that echoed through the hearts of millions. The world mourned the loss of this humanitarian giant, but for the people of Biafra, it was like losing a father, a savior, a beacon of hope in their darkest hours. While Dr. Huesler may no longer be with us, his spirit lives on in the hearts of those he saved. Dr. Huesler's story is a testament to the power of one person to change the lives of millions. This video honors all those who helped to save the Igbos during the Nigerian Biafra Civil War. In the name of all Igbo people, town social and cultural organizations we say here, we have not forgotten those who stood by us at the most difficult moment in our history. To us he will always be a hero. All Bayer friends will never forget all you did to keep our parents and their children alive. May his soul rest in perfect peace.